in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Uh, still making our way to Washington. We are going to stop off here at, um, I think it's called Twin Arrows Casino. And we're going to meet up with a bunch of our friends here that have been in Arizona. So, that's about it. That's all I can tell you today. <laughs> it has not been a really exciting day. We've just been traveling uh, to get here. And... Just the same old desert same that old we've desert. seen six months ago. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that we're going to be in the desert that long because we do want to get um, back to Washington. And when we leave here, we'll take you guys with us. <laughs> All right, let's go see our friends. There's Kevin. Kevin in the wolf pack. All right, so you've already seen Kevin's here with the wolf pack. They've got Dana, Steve, and the kids from Full Tiny House. And I'm not sure, Sue and Ed are here. Yep. Uh, Sue and Ed were our friends that we met in Craigie Wash last year, and we rode around on their uh, Razor. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So we're really excited to see everybody. All right. It's been a long travel. I know. Hello. Hi, babies. Hi. Hi. Hi, Tuck. Hello. Hi, sweetie pie. Okay, now I'll give you a hug. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. Hi, Mr. Kevin. Howdy, howdy. Oh, it's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, Tucker. Hi, boys. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, Moo Moo. Hi, Moo Moo. It's the terrible wind here. I know. Has I get it? to drive. Oh, wow. this off the ground. And I had my earplugs and I didn't hear anything. I know I did. I ripped these completely out. Oh no. Ripped this apart from this and I don't have any more tie straps so I just have to tie it up with that. And oh no. Scratch the hell out of it so hopefully it works. Well where did you find it? You had it laying on the back side of the camper. Yeah, I know it flew across the road there. Like a kite huh? Just like a kite. <laughs> Hopefully it works. I mean, I really need to have this oh, thing work, so. It will. I don't think the scratches are hurt it yet. It'll work. I have to. That's all I can hope for, so. <laughs> we can't, we can't escape the weather. No. No, we can't. <laughs> I just have my little monitor there. It completely ripped off and was dangling. I broke all my tie, my zip ties, except that one and that one. So now I just forced to use that and I just can't put it out in the weather now. But I need to make power. I need to make power! But I'll get it figured out. The Lord just thought you needed something to do. The Indy 500s was over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he waited till the end of that, huh? <laughs> well, nobody got hurt today out there, so Thank that's goodness. a blessing. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, I'll get it. I'll get it figured out. I just don't have my other strippers here so just gonna do what I can I'll get her pulled apart when I get home I'll fix her up even better I'll rebuild it ah. so Aja just came over and told us that we need to get on the road because she's got a, a draft a draft under her bed and I look down and I asked Scotty, what is that toothpick in that cupboard for? Well, what did you tell me? It's to hold that door shut tight. <laughs> Air has been just like, <laughs> the wind is coming directly at this angle, even though that sits below the bed of the truck, that gap, yeah. it's just funneling through. And I'm, 
I'm freezing. My hands are freezing. My feet are freezing. <laughs> so that's how Scotty fixes our drafts. <laughs> Forget the. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's it's a little slacker way. That's a Scotty fix. <laughs> Burr! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we have spent two days here just outside of Flagstaff, about, I don't know, 15 miles? I'm guessing, yeah, I think it's about, about 15 that. miles from Flagstaff. It is really cold here. I'll tell you what, we have been through storm after storm after storm. Now it's windy <clears throat> every day so far here, and I just, I'm tired of the wind. Yeah, and I was just having a little bit of a problem with her rig with uh, air coming up through some vents, and so we are gonna leave our friends behind and we're gonna hit the road. I don't know exactly where we're going. We're going into Flagstaff to do some things in there, and then from there, I don't know where we're gonna stay, but. It's not gonna be in a place where it's windy. <laughs> I'm hope. gonna get some trees around me. <laughs> yeah. I can handle the cold. The yeah. wind is just, makes it that much worse, so. So we had a lot of fun meeting up with our friends, seeing them, and yesterday, we really didn't do anything. I didn't even film because it was too windy outside, and yeah. we just, relaxed all day long. We kind of needed it. It seems like we had just driven and driven and driven to get out of the big storms that hit in Oklahoma and Texas. And we just, I don't know, yesterday I think we needed to just kind of slow down and relax a minute. So that was kind of nice. But there's no internet here. Yeah. And there's no internet here. Um, Scotty has been walking up the hill to get the videos to upload which is kind of a pain in the butt ski. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, so anyways, just wanted to catch you guys up. We'll take you guys along with us on the ride. We'll see you in the front of the truck. Where it's warm. All right, Aja's in her rig, ready to roll. They've just said goodbye to all of our friends. Woo, I think my ears are frozen. Oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> my fingers are frozen. Yeah, all right, let's hit the road, guys. some friends out here as well. Ooh, I don't know about these yeah, roads. Big one there. um, there's a big one here too. And we're hoping that it's a little bit more sheltered from the wind here than what we were down at that casino. Ooh. Okay, you might want to just stop and slow down. <laughs> Everything in the house will be... Uh, Shaking around. Shaking, not stirred. Yeah. Most, what our understanding is, is most of the um, lands that you can camp on around here by Flagstaff or um, south, I believe south of us. No, northeast, south, yeah, west, west of us, um, are pretty darn muddy. And this one here has been set up on, they've got netting and what is it, uh, landscape netting or something under the gravel is what we were told. So it doesn't get that mucky. Now that's just what we've been told, so I'm not real sure. The road's looking pretty good. Yeah. Really rutted though. See the side roads are real muddy. This is where Dana, Steve, full tiny house, and the kids, and then uh, I believe Kevin may have been up here. Everybody left for the holiday because it gets really packed uh, with uh, quad. Are they quad quad runners? Uh, razors. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you guys Things call like that. Yeah, ATVs. I guess ATVs. There we go. Yeah, um, I don't know. There 
are some side roads too, but they look kind of mucky. They do look kind of mucky, but that sign's been oh, there's no for a mile. And I don't, I don't think they've been a mucky up yet. So that's the right. So I guess we'll just continue on. It's really beautiful back here. The view is so great. We've been to Arizona where we've camped in the woods, have we? We've always no. been out in the open desert. Which was kind of one of the things I was kind of not looking forward to um, coming back to Arizona was being in the open desert. I really like being around the trees. It's sort of Scotty. Yeah, and it's not, a, it's not near as windy here now. I mean, yeah. I'm glad yeah, we left. Yeah, the wind is... Not yeah. much at all. No. Very happy with this. The road's a little bumpy, but it's absolutely doable. everybody is but I do know Ren is here and Romeo our friend can smell the campfire. Mm -hmm. Right, well, we found our spot where we're gonna uh, park for quite a couple nights, I think. <laughs> this is really pretty out here. Scotty is gonna take our rug down. We're gonna put it down here because this is a lot of loose rock, so that will uh, help prevent it from getting into the camper, which is always nice. And we usually only take our rug off if we're going to stay more than two or three days. So we know that we'll be here for a couple days. As soon as the rug comes down, we're staying for a few days. Yeah, we are. It's beautiful here. Yeah. All right, well, Scotty's going to try to figure out if his uh, solar's going to work. <laughs> He's got it, got it tied up. Strung back together for now. Yeah, it'll work. Hopefully, yeah, it's just not clear. All right, the so yet. Bex just showed up here, so that's a lot of fun. I didn't know that she was uh, close to us, so yay. <laughs> we brought a little bit of sand with us <laughs> from the last campsite. Okay, now I can get up there. I mean, because you kind of want to wake it up, right? on. It's cold enough. <laughs> it hasn't been cold enough to wear it. I don't, I don't know why y'all didn't get right in the sun right here. Well, I mean, the sun's gonna... Well, because the sun was Because remember, you're gonna want a little... What's left of the sun if it's gonna be cold? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I got a heater. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. I got a generator. I'm not afraid to run it. Over here. Uh, 